Let me tell you, child of God, every prophecy that we have received will surely come to pass. Every prophecy we have received will surely come to pass. I asked God, what is this that is happening in Kenya? He told me, the intensity of the cloud does not necessarily mean if it rains. The cloud can be dark and it never, it may never. But in January, as we are crossing over the year during extravaganza, God told me, these friends of, of, of the president must be prepared for bitter decisions because soon there will be a decision which will be made that will compel them to give room to people who are more effective than they are. Has it come to pass? Yes. And listen to me. If I told you you will go out of this country, just prepare. You will go. Yes. If I told you you will own your own land, prepare. You will have it. Yes. You may have doubted the prophecy, but it will come to pass. Because I know the power of the faith that I have. I may not be accurate in seeing but any time I imagine, I know it's a communication that can only be confirmed by my faith. If you don't have adequate faith, you will always doubt spiritual communications. The, 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 the amount of the faith in you is what gives you the boldness to confirm spiritual communications. Spiritual communications do not only come in form of a vision. They also come in form of thoughts and imaginations. But your faith will confirm the imagination and give it the authenticity it requires. But if you have the Holy Spirit in you, one of the things you can never miss is the accuracy of tomorrow. I speak this with a lot of authority because I am not an expert. But at least I can comfortably say that the Holy Spirit has had a home in my life at least for the last 13 years. That's why I can never be shaken. That the Holy Spirit has had a home in my life at least for the last 13 years. That's why I can never be shaken. Do you have the Holy Spirit? If you, you confess that you have the Holy Spirit in you and you are not sure of tomorrow, check on the Spirit you have. It might not be the Holy One. 